going to uh, go deep into uh, a very amazing, interesting uh, uh, movie with a different perspective. And uh, I've just been, uh, wait, yeah, okay, I don't, I, for, I forgot his name, but he's just taught me how to pronounce it. So it is Gonare Zhu. <laughs> That's what we were doing there. We're like, Zhu. <laughs> All right, so first of all, I'll allow uh, you to introduce yourself. Of course, ladies first, so we'll start with you. Hi everybody! Hello. <laughs> okay. Hi everybody. Hi. Woo, so, so much energy. I love it. <laughs> uh, my name is Tendaisha Chitima, mm -hmm. and I am an actress. All right. Wow. From Zimbabwe. Welcome. Thank Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, Ojambo. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Tariro Washe, and I am a producer and actress from Zimbabwe as well. Uh, <laughs> Asante. Uh, my name is Eddie Sandifolo. I'm an actor from Zimbabwe. Yeah. So wait, so, uh, so, uh, slower, slower. Okay. <laughs> I do it again. Asante. My name is Eddie Sandifolo from Zimbabwe. All right. Eddie, do you do voiceovers? I'm an actor. Do you do voiceovers as well? Do you do mm, no, she told me that I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> Maybe I was dreaming. Try but say. Yeah, I'd, I'd wish to do. Try say. Voiceover. Watch ten over ten. Watch 10 over 10. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's good. All right. So let's talk about uh, the movie. Of course, it's premiered in other countries as well. Shot in uh, 20, was ready by 2020, but, you know, uh, COVID happened. Uh, so, and, and it premiered in Kenya already. Tell us what the movie is about. So, Gonada Jo is an anti-poaching movie. Um, like you said, it was first released in 2020 in February at the Pan-African Film Festival right. in Los Angeles. Okay. And it actually won an award there, um, the f best first feature film. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it, it's, it's, it's been a, a long journey since 2020. Mm -hmm. So, what, 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 uh, what perspective does it bring on, on uh, poaching? It's an actually interesting perspective. Um, it's a different perspective altogether, where okay. normally when um, anti poaching films are told or stories are told, it's, it's a story uh, told from the protector's perspective. So from government uh, yes, organizations. Yes. Yeah. But this time we, um, so it was written and directed by a very talented filmmaker in Zimbabwe called Sidney Taivavashi, mm -hmm. and he took the perspective of the poacher. Okay. So we followed the life of the poacher to see, you know, what got him into poaching and basically the consequences thereof. Mm. All right. And, and so, of course, we're not going to give a, uh, <laughs> a lot away, but uh, tell us the role, the role you, you play. In. Yeah, yeah, I'm not giving anything away. <laughs> um, but I play a character called Tulo, and Tulo is this young woman who is caught in this world. And... What I love about the film is that we see, again, another different perspective of the ecosystem and how it's layered. And there's just so many people who are affected by poaching. We might think it's just the poachers and the animals, but there's so many other people in the community that are affected. Mm -hmm. And it becomes like this underworld of a lot of different things happening. So um, you should watch the show. Yeah. I mean, the movie. So right. you, can, you can find out what happens to my character. Right. Yeah. OK. And, and what about you? What, what role do you play? Well, I, I play this character. Oh the lead role, um, uh, by the name Zulu. He is one guy who's unlike in love. Uh, he's suffering in terms of financial terms. He's, he's, he's unemployed, doesn't have money, but he also lives with a sickly mother. Mm -hmm. um, he, he can't afford to take his mother to you know hospital to get mm -hmm. uh, the best medication, but eventually the mother dies. Um, and the away. Yeah, he's 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 saying a lot right now. So, yeah. like, so but, but basically, Eddie, the guy who's struggling. Don't and, do it. And he, he became a Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, because then okay, I had a follow-up question, but then that will lead you to give him more away. Um, but uh, so I guess yeah, I guess we we'll leave it there. So uh, normally when people do uh, movies like this, uh, whether. I, they had this information to begin with. And even if you went in with some semblance of knowledge about uh, poaching, anti-poaching, how did it change your individual lives? What perspective did it give you as, as, as creatives? And, and what's going on? So I, um, I actually got into the movie because I was already in conservation. OK. Um, so for me, it was bringing my passion in conservation to my other passion, which is storytelling. Right. And I think it's very important to, for the African voice to be heard and for us to tell our stories and um, 
our stories in a way that we can relate to it, you know, mm. and to also have representation. Representation matters right. because so much um, for so long conservation has been seen to not represent Africa, right. you know, and it's crazy because we're conserving African animals. Mm. So, so it was important to do this film because it brings representation and then it makes each one of us um, more interested and, and connected to, to the wildlife. Mm. Mm. Right. What about for you? Well, for me, um, same in line with what she's saying, I, when I was approached to do the film, I was actually so, so impressed by the fact that young black people were taking an interest in telling this kind of story. Mm. And it's, it's, again, what she said, taking ownership of our own stories. I think it really changed my own role as an individual, being part of the conversation, which I wasn't a part of. Mm -hmm. And just really understanding what's actually going on on the ground. Like I said, there's so many layers that you don't realize are actually um, happening mm -hmm. uh, of the, in the world. And so for me, it was enlightening, it was educational, and also I, I also got to be part of the, the voice that's also telling the story and bringing out the message um, and representing women. Um, who are affected, mm -hmm. yeah, so, as well. So double representation. Double, double. <laughs> double, double, double. What about you, Eddie? Don't give anything away. <laughs> um, We're <okay>. watching you. <laughs> yeah. So for me, it's, it, it, I'm very picky about stories that I yeah. engage myself into. So I looked at this story and I realized that, oh, so I went back, dinosaurs, did they have existed? Mm. I don't know, we grew up reading and we've been told and we had stories, but I didn't want this happening to the next generation. I was doing it for the next generation. Mm -hmm. If this film is gonna change a lot of people's mindsets, perception, it would probably serve our rhinos, our pangolins, all these other animals that are going extinct. I want the next generation to read about rhinos and elephants, but still see them. As opposed to us, we read about dinosaurs, but right. we don't see them. Yeah. Are they a myth? Do they ever existed? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the one of the reasons. Yeah. I, I think we started, I think, a couple of days ago because of the drought situation and everything. I think even we lost, um, you know, elephant, but of course, uh, yeah. yeah. So it was, uh, yeah, it's painful. And I was, uh, I was talking to my fiance, name drop, uh, and <laughs> and we were talking about it, and like, you know, we, and it's okay. We really need to take care of the human beings, but uh, again. What, what relief do you give animals during a drought situation, for example, or when you know there is poaching? What what's the relief? You know, that, that's a, a question I guess people need to ask. Um, so where where the film has has premiered, um, like you said in Los Angeles, and you already won the award. Uh, again, do you think it's doing what it set out to do? Like you said, you're already passionate about it. Do you think it's changing perspectives? Do you think the next generation is actually interested in listening uh, about? Uh, you know, conservation and anti poaching and representation. And representation. Yes. Uh, yes, I, I definitely I definitely do believe that it is doing what we or the vision that Sydney had when he started writing this. Right, I think yeah. um, the way it's been re received in the different countries that we've gone to. It's been to LA, it's been to Venice, it's been to Monaco, Rwanda. Um, we did like three city tours when we were in Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. We're now in Kenya and yeah. it was so well received last night at mm -hmm. the premiere. We had conversation after after the screening. And it, I, I definitely believe it's triggering conversation. It's triggering, it's, it's inspiring. Um, dialogue and challenging mindsets around co uh, conservation. So 100%, yes, yeah, I right. think it is, it is achieving what mm -hmm. was set out mm -hmm. to achieve. What set out to achieve, right. And so now, if, um, if somebody wants to watch it, where can they, where can they catch it? Where, yes, yes. Where? so we are, we are working on getting onto a, a streaming platform. Okay. So very soon we'll, we'll be announcing that. Yeah, we, yeah. we are looking forward to, uh, looking forward to that. Uh, <laughs> You know, since he was bragging that she's watched it already, uh, and it's yeah, okay. where were you? You know, you know what happened. Where, where what had happened you? was, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> let me use the obvious excuse. I have a little baby girl. <laughs> See, there you say my aww. I thought so. <laughs> All right, so going uh, going forward. Um, wait, before we go forward, let, let's take a look. Let's watch your appetite a bit. Let's take a look at the trailer. Let's yes. uh, uh, s let me let me, let me show you what you can expect. What is available on a streaming platform and what we missed. <laughs> Here, take a look at the trailer.
but my choices had led me there. And it seemed like it was the end of the road for me. We all have dreams. But sometimes we meet people who give us different perspective of life. I've done terrible things. If I could tell my story today, some would say I'm ruthless. Some would say I'm heartless, dear devil. And some would say I am a beast. Today I stand before you as an example that if you put your mind to something, if you believe it and if you work for it, you will attain it. I know that if we work together, if we unite, illegal wildlife trafficking will be contained and eventually eliminated. To my fellow rangers all over the world who work so hard to protect our wildlife, to you I say, don't lose hope. Keep fighting, we are in this together. who may be listening, to you I say, don't do it. It's not worth it. So that there it is. Oh, you want to clap? <laughs> Go ahead. And, clap. <laughs> and that's just the trailer. We haven't seen the movie yet, but it's 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 it seems so um, intense. And uh, well, we're glad that you did it. We're glad that you're trying to change the narrative. Um, glad that the, it is for thinking, yeah. for conservation, for the future. And uh, I hope it continues to make the impact that uh, you set out for. And uh, shout out to the writer as well. And everybody was involved in the yeah. production or the production. <laughs> yes, yes. All right. So your individual handles, if you're on uh, the socials, what are your handles? Mine is uh, Tariro Washe at Tariro Washe. And uh, Instagram at Tendaiche underscore Chitima and Twitter at Tendai underscore Chitima. All right. <laughs> uh, send a follow Eddie on Instagram. Okay. All right. Well, um, we are so happy uh, that you made time to come to. Thank you so much for coming. And also for uh, the amazing uh, work like we've seen. Yeah, we can just, it's really worth our appetite. Uh, we will not get it on bootleg. We'll wait please, for the official. Please don't. <laughs> I beg you. We'll, we'll wait for official, for the official uh, streaming platform. And when we see on any of your pages now available on, yeah. we'll be there. Uh, is there anywhere else that's going to premiere? Any other country next? Uh, we're going to Niger okay. Nigeria um, and then South Africa. Okay. Yes. So if people, you can also catch a flight to Nigeria or South Africa and catch it over there as we wait. So thank you so much. Uh, no? Yes? No? Yes, yes. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate uh, all of you and for the good work as well. Thank you.